Hi friends and welcome to Keto with Libby. I am Libby and this is Kelly. And today we're going to be doing our very first taste test slash product review. And today we're going to be reviewing Upside Down Bakeries, their pancake, their brownie, double fudge brownie, and blueberry muffin. So the people at Upside Down Bakery were so kind to send us these samples and I wanted to do a review video on them. A little bit about Upside Down Bakery. I was kind of doing some research on them, obviously, because I wanted to know more about the company that I was going to be reviewing. So I looked on their website and I really liked how they said they are health conscious millennials um, because that is me. I am a millennial who grew up in a middle class family and we had just all the easy, convenient fast foods. So I do really like this company's mission um, to help give people better, more convenient foods. There are four main components that I want to make sure that we touch on for a good review of these. The first one being the ingredients slash macros. Obviously, when we're on keto, sometimes these products can have hidden ingredients that we don't really notice. We just see the keto friendly on there and we pick it up and sometimes it's not the best ingredients for us. So we'll be reviewing the ingredients, macros, and then the cost. Obviously these are more for convenience. So I think the cost and convenience might weigh each other out, but we'll see. And then the last two are going to be taste and texture. If you've ever had any sort of mug cake, you know they can be crumbly or too watery or whatever have you. So those are the four main components we are going to be hitting on today. So without further ado, let's look into the ingredients and macros on these. All right, the first thing we're gonna go over is the buttermilk pancake. So I looked over all the macros on all of these. They are all almost exactly the same. Each one of them is 240 calories, three grams of net carbs, sweetened with allulose, and 10 grams of protein across the board, I think. Or these two have 11 and this one, these two have 11 and this one has 10. But their ingredients are slightly different. So I'll just go over those. So almond flour, perfect. Allulose as the sweetener, also good. Um, an oil blend, palm oil and coconut oil. Egg whites, whey protein concentrate, coconut flour, gelatin, and then it has like contains 2% of so on and so forth, which there's no red flags in those other ones to me. So that's really good. And then the only difference with the double fudge is that it has cocoa powder in it and has all the exact same other ingredients. And then this one has blueberries in it because it's obviously a blueberry muffin. <laughs> I will link this in the description below, but you can get a three pack of these on Amazon for $12.95, which turns out to be around $4.32 a piece if you just divide that by the three. Um, and again, you're paying for the convenience of these. For, being, for me not to have to go into the cabinet and make all of the ingredients for a mug cake, that, that's worth $4.32 for me. So I would, I have in the past kept a stash of like the birch benders um, in my cabinet just so that we have on a movie night or something, we have some type of quick keto friendly snack to go to. Without further ado, each one of these you add two tablespoons of water and microwave for about 50 to 60 seconds. Um, in my experience previously with mug cakes and stuff, I can't put it in for like 45 seconds or it's gonna be overcooked. So definitely make sure you're going to what your microwave um, cooks to because if I put mine in there for 60 seconds, it's gonna be way overdone. So just know what your microwave can do. So let's go make these. Okay, so we have these open and each one of them is going to get two tablespoons of water and then we're gonna mix it and microwave it. All right, here they are all mixed. See how I flattened them all out, scraped down the sides. 
All right, now let's pop these in the microwave. You ready? All right, so like I said earlier, all four, all four of these, all three of these went into the microwave for 45 seconds, just because I know how my microwave cooks. So just really watch it, because the first time I ever made one of these kinds of things, I overcooked it, and it wasn't great. So make sure you're not overcooking it. Which one do you want to start with? Shocker. Go ahead. They might still be a little hot too. Yeah, I took a little bit. Mmm, I love this. This is good. <laughs> Take a big bite of it. It's not that hot. Mmm. That is delicious. It's very cakey, like very chocolatey too. Like I love chocolate. Hold on, I think you're crooked. Okay, you guys were crooked. Okay, sorry. Back at it. This is so fudgy and so delicious. It has more of a cake-like texture to it, but it's very fudge tasting, if that makes sense. Like, the texture gives me more of a cake, but the, the taste gives me more of the brownie. What do you give this one? On a scale of 0 to 10, 0 being disgusting, 10 being delicious, what would you rate it? I would rate it... A 10.10. A 10.10. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. <laughs> All right. Is this, let's just do the pancake next. Mm -hmm. I've never had the pancake one. I've tried these two before, but I've never had this one. Mm. Oh my God. Did you smell it before you ate it? I tasted it. Let me just smell it though. Oh, this smells delicious. It smells just like a pancake. Man, that's good. You know what I give it? Hold on. We have to look and stuff first. <laughs> I know what I give it. Okay. Mm-hmm. So there's the texture of it. Very pancakey, like very pancakey texture. That is delicious. Alright, so the flavors I'm getting are very mapley. Like, I don't even think you really need to add maple syrup to this. Um, maple, getting some vanilla, some cinnamon in there, like all the pancake vibes. This, what this screams to me is like, I don't know if you have a camper and you're out camping and you don't want to actually cook pancakes, this is a really good option if you have a microwave. Yeah. Okay, what do you rate it? I write it a 100.100. Out of 10? I didn't give this my rating. I give this a 10 out of 10. I also give this a 10 out of 10. I give this a 100 out of a 10. For taste and texture, both of these are really completely on point. Again, I think if you over microwave it, you can kind of um, shoot yourself in the foot because it could become crumbly and stuff like that, but those two are on point. Make sure you get a blueberry. Mm. Mm. That is delicious. I love it. Let me smell it. Let's smell it. I didn't smell it at all. Oh my gosh, smell that. Mm hmm. I'm really impressed. So, eating all of these side by side. They really got the different textures down. Like, you know how when you eat a muffin, it kind of has that, like, crumb to it a little bit? You get that from here. The pancake, you just get, like, the smooth richness of the pancake. And then that is just straight up delicious fudge. <laughs> like, wow. Oh, I didn't show you guys this one. My best, that's my, that's my best one. This is your favorite? Yes. Out of all of these? I like all of them. All right, guys, so... Overall final <laughs> thoughts on these. Let's let's talk about 
the cost. I do think that I would buy some of these to keep them in the pantry for the mornings where you want pancakes and maybe you don't want to make pancakes for yourself. After dinner, you don't want to make a whole batch of brownies. Your kid wants a muffin because apparently he likes the muffin. <laughs> and I don't know what clips I'll include or not, but I did have him make, um, did I have you make this one? I had to put that one in the and microwave. This, I've, I've, you let me ha put these two in the microwave. Yeah. So he could put these two in the microwave um, for a snack for himself, obviously with parental supervision, you know, you know all the things, the disclaimers. But I was standing right there with him in the kitchen. He made his own snack. I know that it has really good ingredients and he loves it. And he's not keto. He just eats a lot of the keto foods that I eat and he likes to try all the new things. So how did you like it? Yeah, I do too. I think this is a really, really good brand. I think they have a good message, you know, with them being a small company of millennials just trying to get better, <laughs> just trying to get healthier snacks out to the community. And I think this is an awesome option. I will definitely be ordering from them for sure. So thank you Upside Down Bakery for sending this to us. Obviously we really enjoy it. <laughs> And good job guys this is a really really good product so if you guys I am NOT an affiliate with them um, I could try to see if I could get some percentage off or anything like that for you guys if you're interested in that but the links are all down below to their website and their Amazon site so thank you guys so much please let me know if you like this product review if you want to see more products um, I know I use I don't use a whole lot of keto products but I do have some really good go-to ones that I use so if you want to see more in the future, just let me know uh, down in the comments below. And let me know if you have tried these before, okay? Because they're good. They're absolutely delicious. So thank you guys so much, and we'll be seeing you in the next one. Bye. Bye.